welcome to Virology Research Services, where we decode science and provide innovative solutions. Today, we're turning our attention to a virus that affects millions worldwide, yet is often misunderstood. Herpes simplex virus, or HSV. More commonly known as herpes, HSV causes painful blisters or ulcers, and it mainly spreads through direct skin-to-skin -skin contact. There are two types of HSV. Type 1, or HSV-1, often spreads through oral contact, leading to cold sores or fever blisters. It can transmit from surfaces that look normal, but the highest risk is when there are active sores. Type 2, or HSV-2, is primarily transmitted sexually, affecting the genital area. Both types of the virus are most contagious during an active sore outbreak, but can also spread without visible symptoms. It's this stealthy nature that makes HSV a complex adversary. HSV 1 and 2 are enveloped DNA viruses, which means they have a protective fatty layer surrounding their core. Inside, they carry their genetic blueprint in the form of linear, double-stranded DNA housed within an icosahedral capsid, a geometric shape made of 20 triangular faces. This sophisticated design not only helps them invade human cells, but also allows them to stay in the body for life, evading the immune system. Now let's see how HSV interacts with our bodies. Unlike some viruses that integrate their DNA into ours, HSV takes a different approach. Once HSV enters the body, it replicates at the entry site, potentially causing visible lesions or going unnoticed. The virus then makes its way into neurons, where it enters a latent state, pausing replication and lying dormant until triggered to reactivate by stress, immunosuppression, or other factors. This ability to hide and periodically reawaken poses significant challenges for treatment and eradication, but it also offers fascinating insights into viral behavior and human biology. Herpes simplex virus infections can lead to a variety of symptoms, including fever, headaches, and flu-like discomfort, especially during initial outbreaks, in addition to the more commonly known painful blisters or sores, with many individuals experiencing no symptoms and unknowingly spreading the virus. Certain medicines can reduce symptoms and lower the frequency of outbreaks. These include antivirals like acyclovir, famciclovir, and valacyclovir. The active forms of these drugs inhibit an enzyme crucial for viral DNA synthesis. By binding to this enzyme, the drugs prevent it from replicating viral DNA, effectively halting the spread of the virus within the body. Starting treatment early, especially within 48 hours of symptom onset, can be very effective. For those managing herpes simplex virus, antiviral medications offer relief by reducing outbreak symptoms and duration. Additionally, multiple studies have highlighted monolaurin, a natural compound from coconut, as potentially effective in deactivating the virus in lab settings by targeting its protective envelope. Combining monolaurin with L-lysine could further enhance benefits showing promising results in laboratory studies for symptom reduction and decreased recurrence. While more research is needed to confirm these effects in humans, exploring these natural remedies may provide alternative or complementary options for those seeking to manage herpes symptoms. We've taken a close look at HSV, but there's always more to learn. We're a team of scientists at a contract research organization that specializes in virus research, including HSV-1 and HSV-2, and we'd be happy to connect with researchers who might benefit from our services. And if you're into virology and enjoyed this video, follow our channel for more straightforward science content.